Folks, welcome to Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine and our show this week. We are back down in South Georgia quail hunting, okay? I will tell you, family, fun, friends, quail, it wouldn't be successful if it wasn't raining. And I tell you what, quail are going to be flying this morning. I got to introduce the folks that are going to be joining me and my wingman this morning. Okay, this guy right here, uh, Tanner Riley, is the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources Law Enforcement Officer of the Year for 2020. Next to him is my good friend and my veterinarian from Charleston, South Carolina, Walt Gregg. We've been friends for 20 years, big bird hunter. He's going to talk to you about, well, taking care of your bird dog, and we're going to have some quail coming up and coming down. And next over here on the outside, none the least, is Stephen Bryant. He is the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources Law Enforcement Officer of the Year for 2019. So, and our guide today, as you'll see out here with these beautiful bird dogs at Southern Woods Plantation, is Jay Rowland. And I tell you what, guys, stay tuned because quail are coming up. And I know with these guys, quail are coming down. Folks, this is why you come down here. Pretty little small mouth right there. This week's destination is brought to you by Chevrolet. Chevrolet, finding new roads in the outdoors. Today's Chevrolet destination features another great hunting destination that you can find more information about by going to Bob's Top 16 at www.bobredfern.com. And be sure to check out all the award-winning Chevrolet vehicles at chevrolet.com for your next outdoor destination. All right, guys, we got some great points here. Good flushing dogs. Jay is on. He's on his game this morning. There you go. Take him. Nice. Nicely done, Steven. Hey. Nicely done. There you go. Nicely done. I'm going to have to. They all went your way. <laughs> oh, man. Missed that one. All right. Bird comes up, bird comes down. Woo! Mm mm mm. I got one out of that group. But they, they all went to the right. Yes, sir. Hey, Stephen, listen. Um, you know, one of the most important things is having fun here, okay? Oh, yeah. It's great. <laughs> you know, tell me just a little bit about just how important your job is with the department. And, uh, and you know, to achieve the, the level that you have in the 10 plus years that you've been with the department. And the other thing is, I mean, to be selected as the law enforcement officer of the year. I mean, just what was that like? nothing like nothing can really explain it was just amazing um love protecting natural resources love doing what we do getting out being on a boat being in the woods um checking people making good uh um, connections with people and letting them understand what we do uh understand what we do understand why we're there for, to protect them protect the resources make sure everybody's safe uh, love it. Love the job. Bo, listen, man. Way to bring them up. All the birds went your way. That's right. Let's see if we can't get some here in just a minute. All right. We're ready to rock and roll. Let me get on the other side. All right, Bo. All we got to do is turn around. Come on, let's go. All right, man. We'll see if we can catch up to these, Steve. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Got him. Got him. Mm. They're moving quick, Steven. There he is. There we go. Woo. Mm. Well, Steven, I will tell you, brother. Brace number two. You did good, man. You yes, did sir. good, okay? Yes, sir. 
you know, and again, congratulations on your selection 2019. And folks, I will tell you, uh, the Department of Natural Resources in South Carolina, these guys are the unsung heroes, okay? And I know Amir Ward, and I know you're thinking, well, it's 2019. Well, you know, we had a lot of things that happened in 2020. And so we wanted to make sure that we got this guy out and got him behind here and got him a little bit more recognition. And that's what we're out here to do. On the next segment, I've got another guy, Tanner Riley, who's coming up. And he was the 2020 DNR officer of the year. So stay tuned. When we come back, more quail action here at Southern Woods Plantation. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the old 96 district. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 district is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the old 96 district of South Carolina. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. And no matter the shape, size, or color, Power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven. Fish bite and will not let go. We switched. I switched to Chevy. We switched. I switched for more room. I switched for my family, for adventure. We love our Chevy. I switched to Chevy. With an impressive lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs, it's no wonder people are switching to Chevy year after year. I'm never switching back. Get a $4,250 cash allowance on all 2021 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Welcome to Upcountry South Carolina. Discover the six counties in Upcountry South Carolina that run from metropolitan cities with fine dining and cultural events to pristine natural beauty and all the adventure that goes with it. From hiking, rafting, to some of the best fishing in the Southeast. Six counties, one state, a million opportunities. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By Lake Hardwell Country, the land by the blue wall. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders. By South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your source for all your promotional product needs. And by the city of Florence, South Carolina. Florence is full life, full forward. All right, come on, Tanner. Folks, joining me now on my right is the wingman, is Tanner Riley, the 2020 South Carolina DNR Officer of the Year. All right, Tanner. Boo, I'll tell you what. You swing around that way so that tree don't get you, because I want no excuses, Bo. <laughs> None. Come on up here. Slide up. Woo, there we go. Two up, two down, Bo. Perfect. All right. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Yeah. All right. I had to let that one go. Another bird, or is that the dead one? Okay. There we go. I tell you what, you know, those birds going uphill are a little tricky, but <laughs> yes, you, sir. Listen, real quick, while Jay's kind of regathering the dogs here, talk to me just a little bit about what it has meant for you to be the DNR Officer of the Year for 2020. It, 
it, it's an incredible feeling just to be able to be awarded for doing a job that you love. You know, we, we're very passionate about the outdoors. We love to get out. We love working with the public, being, you know, working around hunting and fishing. And, and it doesn't even feel like a job. It feels like you're just going out. You're getting to enjoy what you do every day. And then to be awarded for something like that is, is an incredible feeling. Well, you know, Tanner, too, you come from a family that's been involved with the department for years. Okay? Yes, sir. And, and you, your dad. And I, I just know I, I remember back when I was part of the department back in the early 2000s in 1999, your dad was very, very involved in the Take One, Make One program, as all of the folks at DNR now, especially in the right. law enforcement side with Hunter Ed and all that. But, you know, the future of our sports, both hunting and fishing, is with these youngsters. Absolutely. And I know you guys spend a lot of time doing that, but you know, you guys are the unsung heroes of the department, okay? And everybody thinks, well, you're the, the big bad cops. That's not true, okay? Right. Um, you want us to get out there. You want us to do the right things. And that's that's so important. Absolutely. We, lo we love hunting and fishing just like everybody. And we, we look forward to the opportunity to share that with everybody we meet. These are the two law enforcement officers of the year. Gonna be competing a little bit here. All right, guys, I don't want no nervousness. I'm gonna be right here with Jay. I'm gonna kind of be in the peanut gallery. And so, come on up, Steven. Come on up, keep on, because I, I want no excuses on this cubby rise. There we go. Ah, oh, there's more. Ah! Uh, well, you, know, you know, I get a, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless, bro. Let it go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Piper, eat him, girl. All right. Somebody got a little lead. We got one. Okay, now Tanner. <laughs> no. Shoot it behind. All right. Oh, man. Y'all keep y'all's day job. Oh, there you go, day. Tanner. It's yours. Ow! Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. <laughs> there right. we go. Bring it in here. Come Wait, here, Stephen. So, so Stephen, how many? How many did you get? <laughs> but now this is getting serious. That's here, right. Okay? This is getting serious. <laughs> now, guys, I tell you what, is this not a lot of fun? This is. This okay. is a blast. You know, you guys don't get to do this very often. That's kind of why it was really kind of special that I wanted to invite you guys to come and join me, and be on the show. Because again, I want you to be the face of DNR law enforcement forever because you guys are truly the unsung heroes of us out there who hunt and fish and I know a lot of a lot of times you guys you know get the brunt into the stick because you know everybody thinks but if you're not doing anything wrong you're following the laws as you should be then you guys all you do is just wave at us and say hey how you doing today That's right. so you know I just thought it was a special time and an opportunity to have you guys down here and I want to thank both of you all for being on our show this week and coming all the way down to Southern Woods Plantation. Have you had a good time? Absolutely. Bo, you guys are the best, man. I'll thank, tell you what. And I'll have to, you know, the adjudication here is the is the jury jury is out. Okay. You did good, Bo, on the competition. <laughs> okay, it's right. one zero. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Bob, for having us out, and thank you to Southern Woods. It's an um, excellent place. Well, but guys, we're going to be doing some more hunting, so folks, stay tuned. When I come back, I'm going to have another special guest on the show here, and we're going to put him either on my right or my left, and we got to, well, we're going to talk about bird dogs with this guy, and I know this is a segment you're going to want to pay attention to. You should always use a safety on any firearm. But remember, a safety is a mechanical device that can fail. It is only there to supplement proper gun handling. Remember, safe hunting is no accident. Florence, South Carolina is full of flavor. From fresh South Carolina seafood to South Carolina grown produce and meats, Florence is the place to find the culinary heritage of the South celebrated. Local restaurant chefs in Florence are dishing up vibrant Southern inspired meals in the PD and the only thing missing is you. Explore our city and plan your food journey to Florence, South Carolina at cityofflorence.com. Full life, full forward. We are Florence, South Carolina. Number one priority when hunting out of elevated stand is safety. Always wear a safety harness and use a lifeline when you can. Always have at least three points of contact when climbing in and out of your stand. And remember, safe hunting is no accident. 
Take a journey off the beaten path to Lake Hartwell Country. Tucked away in the northeast corner of South Carolina, Lake Hartwell Country is a hidden gem with waterfalls, mountains, beautiful lakes, and history dating back to Revolutionary War times. For the outdoor enthusiasts, Lake Hartwell Country offers fishing, hiking, water recreation, horseback riding, and so much more. Come visit Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. We switched. I switched to Chevy. We switched. I switched for more room. I switched for my family, for adventure. We love our Chevy. I switched to Chevy. With an impressive lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs, it's no wonder people are switching to Chevy year after year. I'm never switching back. Get a $4,250 cash allowance on all 2021 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome to the city center market. We're right outside of Florence here, and I tell you what, with me today is Chef Alan Cook with Rebel Pie pizza outfit. I'm telling you, I call it an outfit <laughs> because this guy, he brings everything out of that restaurant to include the oven. Alan, you thank doing? you so much. I appreciate you having me. I tell you what, um, Chef Alan Cook, what do you got for me today? We're doing uh, this this time the, what we call our Chicken Wing Supreme Pizza. Every month we do a pie of the month, which yeah. is something special off menu. Uh, and every September we do, to ring in football season, we do Chicken Wing Supreme. It's kind of like, tastes like a chicken wing on a pizza. It's got some South Carolina uh, Reaper sauce on it, so bring, bring in the heat. Uh, it's got oven roasted chicken, bacon, fresh mozzarella, shredded cheddar, and then a little drizzle of ranch. And when it comes out, it's crispy and tastes like a chicken wing on a pizza. Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to get to this oven here in a minute too, because right. that thing is the key and success of, of these pizzas. Mm. Look at that. Now this is the Reaper sauce. This is the Reaper sauce. Ooh, man, that's that. You know the Carolina Reaper, uh, <laughs> it, 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 one time it was the hottest pepper in, in the world. It's been outdone by a couple others uh, now, but it was actually developed here in South Carolina. Oh my goodness. Uh, so we got, you know, more local product goodness here. Dabble of parm oh, on there. Oh yeah, gotta have Parmesan. Mm. Got our fresh whole milk mozzarella. We don't use any of that oh, pre-shredded yeah. dry. Oh stuff. no, uh -uh. gotta be fresh. Mm. You know, now I will tell you, uh, at the restaurant, you guys, how many different kinds of pizzas do you guys cook up? Oh, God, we've probably got two dozen that are like specified on the menu. Right. But th the actual choices are, are probably unlimited because we have, you know, so many different ingredients that you can do a build your own. Uh, we've got some fresh cooked crispy bacon here. Oh, mm. uh, Bacon makes everything better, right? It does. <laughs> uh, we've got some. Mm. Put our roasted chicken. Got a little bit of Ooh. olive oil seasoning on there. Oh yeah. And you know that that always makes chicken uh, taste better. Actually, oh, oh, that yeah, puts a little yeah. moisture in it, sure. especially when it's white meat. Mm. Sure. Ooh, look typically, at that. cheddar's not uh, a normal pizza cheese, but it really goes good with chicken wings. Just a little, you know, brown crispiness to it and everything. Wow. Man, I could see folks coming by and getting one of those Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> Woo. We'll mm. do a little ranch drizzle on it. Oh, my goodness. This is, uh. We make our ranch in-house and everything, so it's not mm. people. It's not, it's not my recommendation because it's not very authentic Neapolitan, but, you know, some it's, you got that one crowd that likes to dip their crust in the ranch. Look, tailgating ain't so. really that, you know, <laughs> Neapolitan We're ready for anyway. the oven, and we're going to... Pray this thing works out here okay. good because we're, awesome. we're doing it upside down on a pizza pan. There you go. Humidity is about 400% <laughs> right now. So uh, this dough is so soft. Oh, yeah, but that's what makes it the best. Look at that. Ah, magic. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Okay. Now, this. 90 seconds. Is the, that's it. 90 <laughs> second wonder right there. Mm. You know, Nicolas Cage and gone to 60 seconds. He ain't got nothing to this. I'm nothing telling you. This. mm mm Gone in 90 seconds. Here we go. Rebel pie. Ooh, Alan. There you go. So you get a little, oh, my goodness. little leopard spotting on the crust there, Ooh. a little char on that pizza and the ranch. Gosh. 
to me. Listen, you are a magic man. Okay? I, think, I think it's good. I'm telling you, Cal Norton Jr. <laughs> Jr. has nothing on you, man. But don't you call me Ricky Bobby now, okay? <laughs> shake and bake. Shake yeah, and bake. shake and bake. There you go. Woo. Wow. Right. Rebel pie. Yeah, Listen, my friend, that is just <laughs> awesome. I can't well, tell you enough. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for being us. a guest. We appreciate it. And folks, listen, you'd like to get more great recipes and experience food like, well, just like you saw today, stop on by downtown Florence. Go buy Rebel Pie. This guy, he'll be back there somewhere cooking up great pizzas like this. Or log on to certifiedscgrown.com and see what's fresh on the menu for yourself. We'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy Certified South Carolina Grown Products. It's a matter of taste. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking, offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Bob Red Ferns Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. Abu Garcia, fish to win. By Upcountry South Carolina. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting. By Linex in Greenville and Rock Hill, South Carolina your Linex headquarters for all your truck customizing needs. And by Santee Cooper Country, discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Folks, joining me now is my good friend of over 20 plus years and my veterinarian who is now retired, Walt Gregg from Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, you know, Walt, uh, behind do dogs like that, your comments are? <laughs> Great athletes. Hey, take them, Walt. Ah, hey, nice shot. Uh, Good shot, Walt. Yeah, but he, that, he's that, going. That's awesome. He's still going. Man. Oh. Yep, he's down. He's down. <laughs> ah. No, listen, man, you're on your game this morning, no, huh? That's pretty right. poor shooting. All right, well, turn around here now. Come on, talk to me just a little bit. Um, before we go down and, and the, the boys and girls find us some more birds. You know, you have been my veterinarian for all of my dogs, okay? And, and my bird dogs, which I don't have anymore. I know you don't have any. But uh, now I have English Bulldogs, of which uh, I'll have to say, this guy warned me about having English Bulldogs. 
And I'll tell you what he said was, when I got the first one, when Bubba came in, he said, I am going to make sure that I have a retirement account now because you own a bulldog. And I've never forgot that. But, you know, real quick here before we... My brethren has paid for my <laughs> retirement. I got to retire early. Yeah, yeah. They, well, look, how important is it for guys that own bird dogs or uh, labs or any of those working dogs? Uh, how important is it for their care, their nutrition and that sort of stuff? Well, I, mean, I think you got to remember that you're feeding and taking care of athletes and they have a lot more needs than a typical house dog would have because they're burning a lot of energy and you got to feed them right if you want the performance out of them that everybody desires. Um, you know, you just, they don't go sit on the couch all day. Well, and, and you know, the other thing too is they got to have regular vet checks. And I mean, you know, they got to do the right medications and all that sort of thing. And because you, you guys are miracle workers in itself, but you can't work that kind of miracle, okay, if guys don't do it, do it right. Well, I mean, the medicines have gotten so much better. I mean, I, I grew up in the days where you had to shove a pill down your dog's throat every day for heartworm prevention, you know? And um, now it's once a month and you get rid of all intestinal parasites and heartworms and ticks and fleas. It's incredible. There you go. Great shot, Walt. Nicely done. Yeah, we've got to get up a little bit. Bob, nice shot. Up, 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 Bob. up, 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 up. Ah. Mm -mm. I couldn't get reloaded quick enough. See, if you'd had an automatic, you could have killed him. Yeah, I know. There it go. He's down. Good shooting, Walt. Oh, get him, Walt. Get him. Oh, I shot the tree. Oh, man. <laughs> and you were giving me grief a while ago. If I'd had one more shell, I'd have killed him. I know. Bo, it's hard to keep you in that gentleman's box. It is. <laughs> I don't claim to be a gentleman. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> ah. Well, folks, listen, I hope you've enjoyed our show this week back at Southern Woods Plantation down in beautiful Sylvester, Georgia. I got to thank my guests. I got to thank the two guys from the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, the Law Enforcement Division, both Tanner Riley and Stephen Bryant. Congratulations to both of those guys. And I tell you what, getting behind some bird dogs, doing a little quail hunting, you guys can see they're just like us. So when you see them out in the woods and on the water, just say, hey guys, appreciate what you do. And my good friend of over 22 years and my veterinarian, Walt Gregg, I tell you what, it's just been so many years I've tried to get him out to do this. And listen, hey, there ain't no lipstick on a pig that's gonna match what that guy can do out in the quail field. So with that, I tell you what, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another edition of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. All right, Jay, I tell you what, Bo, we got more birds to be had.